Today in our 2018 Ford F53 chassis motorhome, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Roadmaster Reflex Steering Stabilizer, part number RM-RBK22-RSSA. A lot of things can cause our motorhome to veer, whether it be uneven pavement, a really strong crosswind, or even just the crown on the road. And then once it starts to veer, we have to fight that steering wheel to get our motorhome back to center. And that can be extremely tiresome, especially on those long trips. Our Roadmaster steering stabilizer is going to minimize a lot of that. We're not going to feel so tired because we're not going to have to fight the steering wheel trying to get it back to center. Here's what our steering stabilizer is going to look like once we have it installed. Because our steering stabilizer is going to have this spring, and when it's in the center position, it'll have a little bit of tension. But once we turn one way, the spring is going to extend and naturally want to come back to its resting state. And then when we turn the other way, it's gonna compress the spring, naturally wanting to extend back out. So our motorhome is gonna constantly be wanting to go straight and come back to that centered state. The way it's gonna accomplish that is one end of our steering stabilizer is gonna be attached to our tie rod. And then on the other end, it's gonna be attached to the frame. So we're gonna have a nice solid connecting point that's gonna have that constant pressure wanting to come back to center. Our steering stabilizer is going to come with everything you need to get it installed, including the stabilizer, all the necessary brackets and hardware. So now that we've seen what it looks like and gone over some of the features, let's show you how to do that now. To begin our installation, we're going to start on the passenger side. Now on our front axle here, we're going to have our U-bolts that are going to be going around our leaf spring pack. We're going to need to take off the two nuts on the rear U-bolt. So we'll grab a 1 and 1 8 inch socket. Now you want to hold on to the washer and the nut for each one that we take off. We can grab our frame bracket here and you're going to see that it's going to have three different holes. A smaller one, a larger one, and kind of a slotted hole. We want to put the slotted hole towards the tire and the small hole is going to be pointing towards the back of the vehicle. So we'll just line up our U-bolt coming down. We're going to slide our bracket up. Then we're going to replace that hardware that we took off. For now, we'll just get it started hand tight so we don't have to worry about that bracket coming down and dropping. Then we'll tighten up our nuts. Now you kind of want to alternate to make sure they go down evenly. So we'll grab our tie rod bracket. You can see how it's going to have a dip in it. You want that dip to be going against the bottom of your tie rod and where the single round hole is going to be going towards the front of our motorhome. So it's going to sit on there kind of like that. Now the four slotted holes that are around the tie rod itself will take one of our U-bolts. We're going to drop it over the tie rod to where it's going to come down through the bracket. And then on each one of those, we'll take a flat washer and a lock nut. We're just going to loosely install it because we are going to have to have some movement available on the bracket. So we just want it there just to make sure it isn't going to fall off. So we'll have one U-bolt and we'll put a second one in place and put the rest of the hardware in. Now if we come back to our chassis bracket here, where that single hole is, we're going to take one of our long bolts, we're going to drop it straight down through. Then we're going to take a flat washer, go over our bolt, then we can grab our steering stabilizer, and the end that does not have the spring on it, we're going to slide over the bolt, and we'll grab another flat washer, put that in place on the outside of our steering stabilizer, and then we're going to put a lock nut on, just hand tight to hold it in place. Now on the other end of our bracket, where our tie rod bracket is, this is why we wanted to leave it loose. We're going to take our bolt, we'll go through our bracket, and just like the other one, we'll put a flat washer on, we'll get our steering stabilizer, line up the hardware so it goes through, put another flat washer, and loosely install a lock nut. Just want everything to be hand tight that way we don't have to worry about the steering stabilizer moving or falling off but we can make any kind of adjustments before we tighten everything up. 
Now that everything is loosely attached, we want to have our steering stabilizer to where it's going to be nice and level going across. That way we can find the position our tie rod bracket needs to be in. And we'll come back with a 916 socket and we're going to snug up our hardware. And with these again, you want to alternate so you get a nice even clamping force. And we're going to snug them down to where they're nice and snug to where our bracket isn't going to be moving. Now we'll come back with a 19 millimeter socket and wrench and we'll tighten up the bolts that's holding the steering stabilizer to the brackets. Now we'll come back with a torque wrench and we're going to torque all of our hardware down to the specified amount in the instructions. And when you're torquing your U-bolts down, you kind of want to go back and forth alternating. So again, you get that even pressure. That'll finish up your look at the Roadmaster Reflex Steering Stabilizer, part number RM-RBK22-RSSA on our 2018 Ford F53 chassis motorhome.